Hi, I'm Mateusz from Board Game Colors, and today we're gonna paint a pilot character from Nemesis the Board Game. This video will be a quicker one. I'm full of ideas for new content for this channel and I can't wait to show you a new stuff about basing, speed and high quality painting. So today I'm gonna show you a little simpler and shorter video. And next week I will try to squeeze both soldier and scientist in one tutorial. So without further ado, let's paint Miss Pilot. As usual, I started my work with the skin. I will follow the artwork this time, so she's gonna be a blonde with a pale skin. In the previous episode I showed you that mixing your own skin color is not that complicated, but today I'm kind of lazy, so I will use premixed color as a base. This is a scale color artist light skin. To thin it down and to mix some shadows and highlights, I will use following inks. Scale Color Intensity Red, Liquitex Sub Green and Daler and Rony White. From my previous video you know that mixing red and green gives you a really saturated, warm brown that is great for skin shadows. And white is there to desaturate it and mix the colors of highlights. Also, I recommend you check out this awesome video by Marco, when he uses a lot of inks for airbrushing. You will get a lot of information about how to mix darker tones there. Back to painting. I start by slapping my shadow colors on all the skin areas. I want it to be a little more on the green side, because of the light reflected from her suit and it will just match nicely with the rest of the mini. Next I got the eyes. I use Abyssal Blue and Palette Witch Flesh with the method I described in more detail in the Captain Painting Guide. This general idea is to first sketch the areas with color and then make them smaller with the color of their surroundings. I like to do this in most of my lower quality models, just to add this tiny bit of visual interest to the face, so the viewer won't spend much time looking at more lacking areas. The rest of the face is mostly highlighting with lighter colors. In my case I just paint three more layers, keeping in mind that the deepest shadows should be under her chin Mid-tone shadows will stay on the side of her head and neck and strongest highlights are reserved to nose and forehead. Next was the time for a green uniform. I did it very similarly as in the mechanic video, starting with deep shadows, bringing back the main color to most areas with the mid-tone and highlighting on top areas with lighter colors. In this case, I use Scale Color Artist Spring Green as my main color, which I mixed with Citadel Caliban Green for the shadows and with white ink I had on my palette to create highlights. After this step, I felt that I needed some more blending to this part, but to speed it up a little bit, I used a diluted Citadel Atonian camo shade with tiny bit of yellow ink. It's a nice little cheat that I tend to use to speed up my painting. At that moment I had a feeling that I need some lighter tones on the lower parts of the mini, and I decided to use a still wet green wash to do some wet blending. I mixed some yellow with white and simply painted over her stomach and back. When it dried up a little, I decided to finish up the area with some leather straps. I used a Citadel Dumbo Brown as the main color, mixed it with skin color to paint highlights 
and created a simple wash with diluted Daler and Rowney sepia ink to create darker lines on the crevasses near the straps. I proceeded with armor. Again, you will find most of this info in previous videos. But to summarize, I prepared armor areas with scale color abyssal blue, painted over it with green stuff world anthrax metal, just leaving alone deeper crevices. After that, I highlighted top parts with Citadel Rune Punk Steel and painted over it with Liquitex Black Ink. While armor dried, I proceeded with the hair. Blonde hair is tricky. It might be tempting to paint it yellow. And I did it too many times in my painting journey. Now, for the simpler models, I usually follow a very simple recipe. I use Vallejo Beastie Brown, which is a nice sandy brown, to make a nice base and our future shadow areas. I mix it with some yellow and white to paint over it, just leaving lower parts and side of the hair. Finally, I mix a lot of white to the previous mix and paint some hair strings on the top of the head, a little to one side so in the end it looks like reflections. Last final thing is to add some interest to the mini. I was really tempted to paint another set of orange lights, but they would steal all the attention from the face. So I decided to paint them blue, just like in the mechanics guide. I prepared area with Vallejo Glacier Blue, Painted over them with diluted Liquitex Prussian Blue ink and added some highlights with the lighter and lighter mixes of both of them. Finally, the base was done as usual, with a dry brush using metallic paint and a dark brown wash, in my case diluted mix of black and red inks. After that I painted base green black and sealed a mini with a satin and mud varnishes from Vallejo. And this is it! The pilot is ready to be used as a gaming piece. She took me about one and a half hours, so I feel it's acceptable for this level of painting. That was one fast video. But as I said, I want to proceed with some other projects. I already have a few ideas in my mind, but I will be more than happy to hear some of your suggestions. Oh, I almost forgot. I heard you should better subscribe to this channel. My friend told me that Sean from Oregon didn't subscribe and he was the first one to die in his last Nemesis play. I'm not sure if there is connection, but why take a risk? You might even hit a like button, just to be sure. See you around.